show you how to play any scale that you learn. Anybody can write a scale on a piece of paper, on a napkin, in a bar, in a wherever, and give it to you, and they're the best teacher because they gave you this new thing, right? But the problem is, a lot of the time, we get that piece of paper, we get that shape, and then it's like, okay, I learned it, now what do I do with it? And the problem is, when we get the shape like that, we get locked into the shape, and then we really don't learn the sound on a deep enough level to be able to make music with it. So, I'm going to show you today all five levels how to learn any scale from any shape. If you go to my website, musicmakerlessons.com, there's a whole packet. There are seven pages of different kinds of shapes that you can play. And I would encourage you to go there and learn those. And if you do those, you'll have a really, really good understanding of the guitar, especially if you learn all of these five levels. So let's get right to it. Level one is play the shape. So let's say you're learning modes and you're doing Ionian mode. I have this shape. There's always different shapes that you can use, but I have this shape in my packet. Level one is learn how to play forwards, play backwards. And then I would also, while you're at it, try and learn some different patterns. Try to learn it in threes, three notes, three steps forward, one step backward. Right? Just different patterns like that, maybe fours. Right? All different patterns like that, maybe skipping. patterns of that same thing learn what it does I like to even do triads so I like to first note third note fifth note then two four six three five seven kinds of different shapes of learning how to play through. That shape and being able to get around it. Once you can play that in position, that's level one. Level two is play it on different places. This means changing key. exercise with my students I call it scale pain where you start at first position first finger over the first fret you play the shape then you move up play it back getting it in every position over the whole neck. If you can do that, that's you know a pretty good sign that you feel comfortable playing it in different keys. Step four, step three, sing the scale. Don't skip on this, okay? Do not skip on this. Even if you're a horrible singer like I am, you need to be able to hear the scale, how it sounds in your mind's ear. Now, for this, do, re, mi, that's pretty easy for most people. But when you get into a Locrian mode or something, that's when most people hit the wall. So make sure as you're practicing, you're learning the sound so that you can sing the sound in your head. Here's why this is important, because level four is learn how to play the scale on one string. It's important to be able to sing that first because then when you make that mistake and I hear that that's wrong, nah, nah, should be there. If 
I can hear that, then I can fix the problem. If I don't know what it's supposed to sound like, meaning I can't sing it in my head, at least, then I have a problem because then I can't use my ear to correct myself. Once you've finished level four, move on to level five. Level five is playing the scale on two st strings or pairs of strings. Any pair is good. I suggest pairs that are next to each other to start. Once you can play Once you can play on a pair of strings and any pair is good Once you get this on level five where you're using pairs of strings, even if you haven't finished level five where you're using all pairs of strings, I think you're ready to look at another set. If you're working through my packet, every page has scales that are related to each other. In other words, they live in the same scale family. But it's really hard to put together how those scale families are related to each other if you don't understand these on a deep level. That's where a lot of students, I find, have a really, really big problem learning music. It's not in learning the shape. It's not in like being able to play the shape. It's not in being able to do skills. It's being able to understand how things are interconnected. So hopefully, learning this on five levels helps you start to get there. If you found this helpful, please do click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.